Hi there, and welcome to Graham's Guide Friday Live this Friday, the 27th of August. Uh, you notice that the microphone is right here, um, right in front of me. I've uh, moved it because there was a bit of an echo. I usually have the mic up here, um, out of shot, uh, but, um, you know, just trying to improve things all the time, and hopefully um, this has improved the audio quality a bit for you today. Um, you can let me know um, if you like, that would be great. Uh, so. Moving on very quickly to what I want to um, talk to you about today, um, as I've always uh, tried to make these um, Friday Live sessions a practical session, I want to make it a very practical session today and look at these three things, um, the unit review, uh, the, uh, pff, rather, <laughs> a review of your unit and course goals, which will be very quick. Um, we're going to look at types of sources to help you with your research, and then finally, um, formatting a presentation. Now that probably sounds like it's going to take a while, but I'm going to zip through them um, quickly to start with. And then for those who want to hang around, I'm going to go into a little bit more depth. So I'm in the um, the uh, the group discussions already. This is the learning group discussions, uh, learning group 10 discussion board. And I've made some changes uh, here to tidy up uh, a bit when you go in. So I've moved some information that I had in the general Q&A into the assignment three Q&A. So let's go and have a look what I've moved. Oh, before I go in there, <laughs> I, the, I put a video during the week that shows you how to find the collaborate session. I put that in the general Q&A but I've now moved it into the Collaborate forum. So if you're trying to work out how to access the Collaborate sessions, um, go into the Collaborate discussion forum and scroll down. And I provided a recording here that um, demonstrates exactly how you can find the Collaborate session recordings. Although, as I mentioned in um, during the week, I have sent um, a direct link out to everybody um, to access the Collaborate recordings. Um, in a Canvas message. So check your Canvas messages from me and you'll find a direct link to um, this week's Collaborate session, which was a great session. Um, we had a bunch of people turn up. Now, back to um, where I want to go to, which is into the Assignment 3 Q&A. Now, of course, we're going to be spending um, a lot of time in discussions um, as, as we um, close out this second half from week seven to week 12. Um, but I'm guessing that a lot of people are going to be asking questions about the assignment three um, assignment. <laughs> and sometimes I cannot put words together, can I? I'm very sorry about that. Um, this is what happens when I haven't got, when I'm not working to a script. Um, anyway, so assignment three, let's click on assignment three Q&A and go in and have a look at what I've done here to try and make things a little bit easier for you. So if you scroll down, there was a massive um, uh, post here that uh, was about reviewing your unit and course goals. Well, I've uh, now I put that into a PDF. Uh, so that post is now very short. But if you click on this here, it will go into the post that I had. Uh, which is now a PDF. So you can go through this. And this is just um, an opportunity for you to review your um, the possibility of um, unit and course goals that you will have. And if you scroll down here on the left-hand side, I've got the unit goals. Um, if you go all the way to the bottom, you'll see here I've provided some select suggested literature that might help you support um, a discussion on those unit goals. And the same here in course goals on the right hand side, I've made a list here of um, some of the course goals that people mentioned in week one. And likewise, if you scroll down, I've also provided some um, suggested literature that might help you um, support any discussion on those course goals. Uh, of course, you can undertake your own research as well. Um, but um, we highly recommend that you use literature from this unit uh, because that demonstrates your understanding of what you've learned in this unit. And that's what we're marking you on in assignment three. We're marking you on um, what you've learned and your new knowledge uh, since undertaking this unit. So our essential readings um, are, you know, if you're uh, citing and referencing our 
uh, this unit's readings, that's going to um, make for a higher grade. Uh, okay, and then I was going to move on quickly to types of sources. Um, I've put a types of sources document here. I actually found this um, document at the uh, Washington State University, but I've modified it for um, us here in Australia to make things easier. So these are types of sources. At the, across the top here, these are the... the um, Academic, these are academic and nonfiction books. Um, other sources include scholarly research, um, journal articles. Um, and then as you move across, um, I'm, I'm going to talk more about this in detail afterwards. So I'm not going to talk about that now, even though I'm tempted to. I'm going to come back in a minute. But for those of you who are interested in what types of sources, I provided a list here of types of sources. Let's go back here and quickly finish up. Um, and down here at the bottom, I provided a template that will hopefully help you with um, formatting and presentation. So uh, if there's a link here that goes to uh, the Student Hub, where you can find details on formatting and presentation. But this link here um, will, uh, it's a, this is um, how we, you know, my suggestion for how you can format um, and present your assignment three essay. So here at the top, you would put these details, um, the title of the essay, and then straight away, this is where your essay begins. Um, and then at the completion of your essay, after your essay finishes, if you then move on to the next page, that's where you will put your list of references. Um, so I've only got one reference in here, but uh, the title of this page is references and then it's followed by your list of references in alphabetical order or often numeric order so those three uh, those three posts are now pretty tidy um, they're in the assignment three q and a so just go into the assignment q three and a um, you'll be able to um, review your unit and course goals you'll be able to find this document on the best types of sources to use to support your writing. And then finally here, um, there's a template here on formatting and presentation for assignment three. So that's all I wanted to share with you today. Uh, so I'll, for those who need to go, um, that's the basis of what I want to share for you. For those of you who would like a little bit more information on types of sources, I'm now going to talk more about that. And let's go back to this page. Okay, so here we are, types of sources. So if I click on this types of sources document, as I was saying before, um, I'm not sure if you can see it very well, and I can't, can I increase the size a bit? I can a little bit, there we go. So here on the, across the top, um, it sort of goes from the most credible and reliable type of source down to ones that we would prefer that you would not using for academic writing. So newspapers and popular magazines, even though um, you know, we would expect that in newspapers and magazines to find um, credible and reliable information, we don't like to use these um, sources for academic writing, mainly because the authors of these works are not necessarily writing in their field of expertise. So a journalist is an, his ex, the, the, an, a journalist's expertise is in journalism, not necessarily in um, psychology or education. Sure, they might have um, done um, they, they might have um, there might be their area that they concentrate on like a journalist might um, uh, specialize in, um, political science, um, writing journalism on politics. Um, but if you want to, uh, to know about uh, the political science of the Trump era um, between 19, between 2016 and 2017, there's going to be an expert who's written on that. And the journalist will probably refer to that expert, but you don't want to cite the journalist, you want to cite the expert. So I'm not sure if I've explained that very well, but journalists um, don't necessarily write as experts in a field that's very specific for what you'd need to be 
um, providing evidence for. Now, here on the right hand side is the internet as the final one. Now, this it's not on the on the right hand side here because it's the least um, credible and reliable. It's over here because it's both the least credible and reliable, but it also has the most credible and reliable information as well. But you must be discerning. Um, when you're using the internet to find um, evidence to support your writing, don't use sites like Wikipedia. Um, make sure you're using um, a credible databases. And at the bottom of this document, um, I've got a list of um, credible databases here to get you going. Um, these are the sort of um, databases that we want you to use to find sources. Uh, before I move on to those databases, just uh, I want to explain what this um, these uh, things are down the side. So I just um, so here I've got uh, let's look at this one scholarly and journal scholarly and research journals. So these are journals that we would use to support academic writing. Um, this last one here, the New England Journal of Medicine, and that's an example of a research journal. And here's the value and use. Um, rep it reports uh, of original. They're in in a, in a journal article. It reports on original research. So usually the author who's written the article has done the research for that article that's been written, and it provides an in-depth analysis that relates to that discipline. And so here you'll find language. Um, the language can be very technical. The authors are um, researchers and academics, and their sources are usually their own research or extensive documentation. If we go down to the second page, um, the publishers are un usually universities or scholarly presses like Oxford University Press. Um, the graphics are usually graphs and charts, um, and formulas and the indexes to the search. So you will usually find journal articles through um, databases such as in the Swinburne Library. And these are other databases where you would find research journal articles. So that's just a quick explanation of what this list, these descriptors are down the left hand side. So let's go now to um, uh, the Swinburne Library and show you how we can do some actual research for a credible and reliable source. Uh, there's a big notice here I see about COVID restrictions, but let's go straight to the search of our library catalogue. And I'm going to search here on something that uh, you might like to search for. Uh, virtual collabor might you might, I'm going to search for something that you might like to write about. And that's virtual collaboration in discussion boards. And that's because when you're writing assignment three, you've got to be writing about your experience here in, um, here in uh, this unit and your learning experience. And a lot of the learning takes place in the discussion boards. Uh, and that's where we've spoken about the, um, the type of communication is asynchronous. So you might type a post one day, but several days later, you'll get a response to that post. What, what are the pros and cons of that asynchronous communication? Well, um, I can think of some pros. One is that you, the person who's responding has a chance to think about their response. Um, the, but the con is that you have to wait um, for that response to come through. So, um, and that's spoken about by um, many people. This is the sort of thing that people do research on. So let's have a look and see if anyone's done some research on virtual collaboration in discussion boards. Click on search. And this is the um, Swimmer Library um, search results. And you'll see here that um, you can choose here on the left-hand side if you only want to receive, uh, look at um, peer-reviewed sources. So I'm going to click here for um, peer-reviewed sources only. I'm going to apply that filter. And now it will just show me peer reviewed um, sources. So the top one here is use of online asynchronous discussion boards to engage. This is an ideal. Um, I, have, I have not gone in here before to find this, but this is an ideal um, source to support your write up. Um, when, you know, if, if anyone's writing about virtual collaboration as a, um, as a, 
future work skill, this would be an ideal uh, source to support that. So if we click on that, um, it, and uh, that takes us through to this next bit. But down here, you see that you, the full text is available here. So we click on this link here for the full text. And here's the article. So we can have a quick look through that article. Um, I would normally read the first bit, and then I would go all the way to the bottom, and I would read the last, I would read the conclusions. And I would find out if there's any conclusions here that I can relate to. And then if so, I would then go and look within the article to find, maybe I might find a short direct quote to support something I'm saying. So that's how we can use um, the, the Swinburne Library to um, do research. Uh, I don't want to go on any further because uh, I'm going to let you um, do your own research now. Thank you for hanging around. If you've got any questions about um, any of the things that um, I've presented today, uh, please ask in the discussion boards. You'll see that uh, assignment three Q&A discussion forum is ready to go. So jump in there and ask questions about assignment three if you want to. And of course, in the weekly discussions, um, feel free to ask any questions about the topics that we cover each week, and I'll be very happy to answer them. Looking forward to catching up with you um, over the coming week. Oh, what do I want to say? COVID. I just want to move on from COVID. I'm just tired of it. But I do acknowledge that um, living with COVID has created very stressful situations for us all. Do not feel bad if you need to be applying for extensions for your work. Um, we're being quite lenient with our um, granting of extensions. So if you're able, if you do need an extension, don't feel that you can't ask for one for assignment three. Please get that in and get it in early if you want to apply for an extension. But apart from that, let's get on with life, on with assignment three and on with the rest of the unit. We're on the um on the on the side of the unit now here are not talking properly again. We're on the we're on the side of this unit where we're on the what is it? The the back straight, as they say. We're on the way to completion and it's not far off and let's get in and do it together. It's going to be great. <laughs> Especially if I can learn how to talk properly. Alrighty. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you during the week and also in next week's Friday live. Thanks. Bye for now.